Anyway, you're saying. So what does dead boy? I mean? think that's when I'm in the chest. Don't take any damage. And I don't think Mega Satan counted for that. Yeah, he counted his sure zone. Yeah, I did. Oh look, now I've been Mega Satan. It's got the Mega Satan's dead head here Very neat. on the file. So um, yeah. yeah, it's this boy here, Apollyon. Ah. Uh, we have unlocked. Still haven't been uh, greed mode at all, so we haven't unlocked Lilith yet. And then there's the question mark who we have looked at the. Oh no, that's the randomizer. Oh, so it's just Lilith left. Just Lilith out of all the normal unlocks, and those are the ones I will be unlocking. Yeah. Um, Lazarus, I need to beat question mark, question mark, question mark with. So I, list, I guess let's carry on. <laughs> See if you can do it in one go. I mean, I also need to get that um, Mega Satan win. I don't know, but I know you hate him. I don't hate Mega Satan. Oh, you no, mean. Lazarus. Yeah. Uh, so the seed is 7AN for w 27 T. Not 70, but 7 T. It'd be nice having like some regular ass damage though. Rather than the weird monstrosity I had before. Yeah. This was a hell of a damage run though. That was an entertainingly hellish damage run. Oh, it was fun to play as well. Yeah, I bet. One of those few times you could point at enemies and they die. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> yup, that was why I realized I had to say it. It's not fun if I just pretend to joke about it. <sighs> okay, what do we got? Oh yeah, proptosis. That's useful. So, really I'm blessed with damage today. Yep. Damage day has struck. Apparently there's another shitlin in here, but I'll find him eventually. He's just shitting around somewhere. There he Oh, there's two of them. Not for long. There you go. That's right, this is XL. Uh, that means I need to be careful not to get hurt. Yep. Ooh, PhD. Well, that could be useful. Better appeal. So we got telepills and luck up. I'll take luck up straight away. Get my luck up to zero. <laughs> um, okay. Let's carry on. Yep. Okay. Let's try and fight these bosses. Uh, Headless Horseman. Yep. Oh, I'm glad that guy moved. Oh, shit! Doing pretty well. Another case where maybe. Oh, why, why do you hate me, Philippo? You know what happens when people say you're doing pretty well? Because it makes things much more entertaining. <laughs> And there oh, we go. There go. I knew as soon as I made that like alteration that I fucked up. But what are you gonna do? Lose more health, apparently. Shh. I blame you. The other one said I was doing well. Yep. Well, you were doing really poorly last time you pulled it out. I did. Now I got the pony. Whee! Pony. And massive damage. Uh, it's only 7 damage, so compared to the last time, not so great, but you know, it's still good. Oh, it's just because of the way your tears are blowing up, it made them look absolutely massive. Yeah, Proptosis always has massive tears. Okay. So let's go Get and... those coins! That's and... true, and we're also going to blow this up. Okay, cool, that would have been useful earlier, but we'll come back for that later. We actually fight the boss. Joker! You're supposed to take those out of the day. Oh, that was what I was thinking. I was realizing you haven't done the Joker in ages. Because I, I didn't get any! Yeah, no, I, I know that's why it was. I was just, like, kind of surprised that you hadn't gotten any lately. It was like. What's going on? Okay, buddy. You gotta die now. There we go. Oh, jeez. Hero Walk. Judgment. Ancient Recall, which gives us more cards. Full Hanged Man. Two of Hearts. Magician. Well, I can use two of Hearts. That's pretty useful. 
Uh, magician, full air walk. I think air walk is probably the best one. Yeah, no, that's not air walk. That's air walk. It has the magic the gathering back, complete with the little pin. Really, I mean, I wish it was. You can't tell at this, at that kind of detail at this uh, distance. That would be pretty neat if they somehow got that stupid pin mark in there. You know what I'm talking I'm about. I do, and I'm laughing. I'm laughing at the stupid pen mark thing. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that. Oh well, doesn't matter. We'll go get the other heart, we'll go and we'll fight the boss, and we'll get our devil deal, and then we'll come back for the rest. <laughs> but yes, for those of you who don't know, there's a dumb little pen mark that's obviously not meant to be there in the back of every Magic the Gathering card. It's because the back of every Magic the Gathering card has to be completely identical, or because else... Otherwise, you know, yeah. cheating. Otherwise, cheating could occur. Well, not even cheating, because it'll be legal, but it'll be like, here's some extra information that some people will have, depending on how much they know the game, and other people won't, and it'll just be kind of shitty. Um, so, yeah. yeah no, but it, yeah, it's, uh, what's the legend behind it again? I don't know, it's just some idiot made that pin mark. Oh, no devil deal. Some idiot made that pin mark at some stage, and they're stuck with it now. They literally cannot change that back, or else... Problems. Yeah, massive problems and shit. So... Mmm, mmm. Massive problems. Something everybody wants in their card game. Their children's card game. Uh, there were people doing Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments at the con! Yeah. How is that a thing? That's hilarious. Take uh, the steam sale. Do I want to take the backpack? I don't think I do. No, you don't. Well, it's sometimes useful. I'm probably gonna hold on to this pony for some time until I get, like, real actual flight? flight. Yeah. Yep. Unless I, until I get to be a real boy. Go in the wrong fucking real way. Pony? Uh... Well, I was thinking, uh. God damn it, the word is. A real magical sp skeleton. Well, you can't be a fake magical skeleton, that would just be wrong. I like how that's literally the character's name. I know, it is wonderful. Ooh, I can take that, but I need to go fight bosses first. Uh, for those who don't know, we are watching a show called OKKO okay okay KO by Ian Jones Forty, aka Rebecca Sugar's partner. Um. But yes, he's... he did a lot of Adventure Time. Uh, not Adventure Time. He did a lot of uh, Steven Universe shit in the first like season or so. If you like the dumb expressions that Steven and Co used to make, then he was in, he was in charge of most of that. Also, he did the RPG World comic. If you are an ancient man like me, who remembers that shit. <laughs> and when you say RPG World, is it unrelated to his other stuff? It's unrelated to his other stuff, but that was the name of the comic he made. It was yeah, called that RPG was, World. That was what I was checking, like, because, you know, it could be. He made that when he was still, like, studying, I think. Ah, <laughs> uh, ancient things that you probably don't want your fans to remember that they always were. Yeah, no, he never finished that comic, and he never will. So he doesn't really want. Well, okay, technically he finished it, he made an episode of his, com of his uh, show finishing that, that comic. Um, but yeah, no, he's never gonna make a proper ending to it, so... Which episode of which show? Of OKKO, OK where, like, the main character of his RPG World comic, um, showed up. Wait, what? Which? What? Look it up, Philippa. Do I have to? No, you shouldn't have to, because you already watched that episode. Yeah, but um, I don't know what one it is, therefore I am confused. Okay, well, I'm afraid I can't help you there, really. Uh... You're like, goes and sees, and he's like, oh, we gotta grind super hard for fighting evil. And then it's like about, you know, enjoying your life and not just grinding past it. Like yeah, that Adam I Sandler movie. Fate. Yeah, there, there you go. Uh, yeah. Oh, the one where his power card was glitched. Right. But anyway. Um, there's a character in that show called a real magic skeleton, and that is what he is. He's a real magic skeleton, works at a picture frame store, um, and uh, that's his name. Is a real magic skeleton. I don't know what else to tell you. 
Which store did you say he works in? He works in the picture frame store. Okay, no, I was going to say, no he doesn't, he works at the frame store, but yes, you... He doesn't work at the box factory, he works at the, the box factory. <laughs> yep, yep. Because we're incredibly pedantic about these things in this castle. Okay, Stain, um... time to die. Stain, where are you? Die. There you go, that's better. Oh man, something cool happened in one of the comics I read, but if I tried to explain it to you, it would just come off as weird and awkward why I really like it. But, awesome. Uh, yeah. Isn't that always the best? I no, because I want to tell you all about it because it's cool, but... Oh fuck, these guys are really hitting me hard. I need to kill this fucker. Ah, uh, that's the end of my goddamn hit points. No. Now I need to kill these guys carefully. Bop. 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 Ah, uh, I didn't even get anything. Wait. Did I lose health somewhere? Like, red heart health? I don't recall that happening. Mm. Can I not help you with this? Uh, fucking Lazarus. Don't look at me. He's always the one that you like most want to trade away all your health immediately. It's always the most difficult. Yep. Because oh. Magdalene was just like, no, look at all my juicy health. Bro. Yeah, Magdalene's also kind of like that, but not as much, I feel. Because she had all that juicy health to trade away. I mean, that's not really the case, but more just like she's just generally a better character than Lazarus. Easier to get to the Devil Deal rooms on. Fair. Hmm. Now that I've said that, I totally want to eat my fridge fudge. Well then go do it. Oh, wait until after the stream, so I'm not just eating fridge fudge on stream. Okay then, do that. Yes, I shall. There we go. Quality life advice from Corner. Eat fridge fudge. Oh, don't! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like a squirrel and just tend to like hoard up my sweets sometimes and I've had fringe fudge since my birthday. Because there was a fair on and I was like, I want fudge, but I don't want to eat fudge right now. So I put fridge and fudge away until I did want to eat fudge, which is apparently like over a month later. Fair on sounds like a Decepticon of some sort. Pharon? Yeah, Pharon. Sorry, what? Because you said there was a Pharon. Oh, right! My brain heard fear is fear? What? That's not what if, you said. No, when you repeated it. My brain, that's what my brain reinterpreted what you said as. What did it interpret it as? So, fear I am Ooh. using, if a I R, sounded when you said it like F E A R. That sound what... identical, Philippa. I know, but my brain somehow retranslated what I had said into me to like you referencing me being afraid of something, and I was like, wait, what? Because my brain didn't remember saying there being a fear on, with there being a fear on. I wish I'd have got that backpack after all. Well. Too bad, your life sucks and you have to deal with it. Damn it, Philippa, you full of terrible advice. Well, yes, I don't know why you listen to me half the time, but it's hilarious. I should not have listened to Philippa. Note to self, never listen to Philippa. Always listen to Philippa. Uh, in video games. Always listen to Philippa in, like, real life, but, like, don't listen to her in video games. This is just bullshit. Okay, yes, this She'll is true. She'll fucking steer you wrong. In real life, I stop him walking down dead ends and dangerous cliffs. Yeah, mostly. We had this whole discussion where we were talking about, like, directionality. And I was talking about the fact I can't find one of our, like, major population centers on a map. Like, I know it exists, but if you ask me to find it on a, a geological... Ge geological... On a map of our country, I'd be like, maybe there? Um, but if you put me in that and told me to get somewhere, I'd get you from A to B with pretty much no trouble. Yes, why would you need a map of it? You invented the country in question. <laughs> uh, but yes, I have, um, I have a weird sense of directionality that just, like, works. 
It does not need too much input, it just requires like a reference point and then it will get going. Didn't always work as well in my childhood. I do remember one stage where I couldn't find a place in um, Island Bay because my brain was telling me that there was meant to be a hill, but I couldn't see the hill. Was there a hill? Yes. How come you couldn't see the hill? I don't know. Like, I've yet to figure out how I was missing the giant hill. But it was just kind of obscured by the other things in front of it. Because it was a hill at a weird angle, or is a hill at a weird angle? I don't understand how that can happen, and my brain is only causing, <laughs> like, is only thinking up non Euclidean bullshit. Like, the hill was at a weird angle, it went down instead of up. <laughs> uh, positioned relatively to the, um, to the street we were going down, it was basically in line with the street, so the visibility from the car at the back seat. And that I was basically only seeing sort of uh, complementary planes rather than acute planes. I don't know what that means. I was seeing in 180 degrees where I needed to be seeing 90 degrees. But 180 is higher than 90. That's not always better. 180 is flat, 90 degrees is upright. What? Because it was a continuous, like, le like directional level with how my brain was looking, and because Wellington is curved, it is my brain was seeing this road in line with us that obviously was just going up because that's what Wellington does, as opposed to seeing it off to one side of me, seeing it going up, going ah, that's a hill beside me. Okay, so you just didn't realize that it was a hill because yeah. Wellington. Because Wellington, yes. Why didn't you say so in the first place? I was trying to say that. You weren't understanding me. What you were mispronouncing it horribly then. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Wah. <laughs> oh, Wellington. In case you don't know, if you need to get, if you get lost in Wellington, just walk downhill. I've heard Wellington described as the San Francisco of New Zealand. I have no idea what that means, so I'll say yes. You don't know San Francisco also has like ridiculous hills. No, I don't. <laughs> That's weird. That's like pretty much the only thing people know about San Francisco. So I guess you know zero things about San Francisco. It's named after a saint, isn't it? I don't think so. Yeah. It could be. I don't know. Okay, yeah, there we go. I know zero things about San Francisco. Well, you know a thing now. Uh, can not take it back now? Got a lot of 48 hour energy pills, that's good. Um, let's fight this bullet. A new pill has appeared for some reason. I just stood there and it happened. What was the pill name? It says a new pill. That's all it says. Oh. Alright. Fuck off. I got health now. It was health enough now. And you're dead. Finally! A devil deal for which to give away all my health. Get the pact and get the knife. Okay, now we can take this 48 hour energy pill. Health. 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 Did you also get any other achievements before it showed up? No, I just walked into the boss room <laughs> and it gave me that. I don't quite understand it myself. Yeah. Oh, this isn't a 48 hour energy pill. Why did I think it was? Just says a new pill has appeared in the basement. Yeah. No explanation, just a new pill. Oh, maybe you've got the sun collector item. 
Uh, possibly you unlocked the pill. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. That's a shame because that's a pretty useless pill. Yep, uh, that is collected by getting every entry on the beast carry. Um, okay. Let's see, what else can we get there? Alright, could have been that. Wouldn't be dedication. Uh, As we all know, I'm not dedicated to anything. Yes, you are. You're feeling dedicated to Remnant World. Yes, I'm dedicated to my fans. Uh, complete a victory lap with a lamb? No, it wouldn't be that. Uh, well, uh, uh, obtain 50 items on a run? No, it wouldn't be that. Nope. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, right, because we got this trinket. <laughs> that was dumb. What happened? Uh, the poop blew up because I have the poop go blow up trinket. <laughs> Observe. <laughs> the poop go boom. Sadly, it doesn't work with the shitlings. No, they will not explode. But they, they will, will explode. Die. Yeah, they'll die when I explode them when they're exploding poop. <laughs> Uh, now considering whether maybe it might be worth just not having that trinket at all. Uh, nope, wouldn't be that. Uh, great, great. Get over here. Well, i got plenty of keys. <laughs> How to find a secret room. No, I, I, I'm gonna guess it was the sun one then. The sun one? Uh, the feels like I'm walking on sunshine one. It's okay, anything. how's that triggered? Uh, it is it's triggered by unlocking the sun collector achievement, which is completing the bestiary. Okay. And that seems to be the only thing that you, um, that you haven't done like or that I know you haven't done like because the other ones that are unlocked inch by defeating stuff or defeating oh, things or anything like that are um, are things like defeating mom for the first time which you've done or defeating yeah. Isaac as Cain which you've done or you I know. guess I've never fought Bighorn before maybe he just got unlocked mm. Bighorn Bighorn Ah, oh, god damn it! I'm, I'm dropping this trinket now. <laughs> you more trouble than you were. Uh, Mention him, being... Oh, defeat question mark question mark question mark is six different characters, which I think you did with. Uh... Mm. Yep. There you go, that's probably what it was. Most likely. Yep. Okay. How much fucking ran into that? Unfortunately, damage is cheap now. Sorry, I was just reading that there's this little message up the top of the Isaac wiki going, Magic Hat and Changes are coming to the wiki! And I was like, okay, and it's like, to learn more and to make your voice heard, go there! And I'm like, well, I'm kind of curious as to what major changes you're talking about. Is this big when fandom, like, changed to, um... The, the like fan wiki change to the fandom.com thing or uh, it turns out that they're discussing the idea of merging the um merging the flash game Isaac stuff with the you know the game Isaac stuff. I mean that would make sense and I thought they already did that. Yeah, apparently not. Apparently that's coming soon. Ghost baby, you're gonna do basically nothing for me here, Ghost Baby. 
mean, for me, I'd probably say it makes sense. Seems like a very sensible idea that I would have done long ago, but, you know, so I'm not these guys, so... Yeah, I guess they're weird purists of some sort. I'm betting that the people protesting are the weird purists. <laughs> I love that almost instantaneous defeat sound. Yep, it's always fun. So many entertaining things to do, say, or otherwise. That uh, sounds like a side of a book. Do, say, or otherwise? Probably is. Interesting things to do, say, or otherwise. By Phil Keneally. <laughs> Oh, what was I talking about? Okay, so um, when I was seeing the uh, the career counselor, one of the things we discussed was... Um, Writing books. <laughs> no, uh, sort of depths of friendships and like friendship layers, basically. Which wow, this career be. counselor is coming on hard. Uh, no, um, it was... I was basically ranting about something else and we got into that discussion kind of tangentially. Uh, <laughs> right, I think I know uh, what or who you were talking about, but go yeah. on. Well, I'm not going to mention his name here, even though it's almost certainly never going to get back to him. Um, it was all actually due to the fact that I was referring to a specific incident that I found really peculiar and was related. Refer to as the incident. <laughs> um, and yeah, oh, that damn. was how we got into that discussion. Um, but yeah, I found it really interesting, like, the idea of, um, one of the, the concepts she was talking about, because they do a lot of work with younger people, is, um, the idea of a flirty friend. Um, uh -huh. and the sort of, the concept for this was that there's sort of two tracks for adults to go down in terms of friends, usually, or three tracks if you include the negative track as well. Yeah, um, negative track. As in the enemy track. In case you didn't figure that out from the way I phrased it. Um, the, the idea of like that you can be friends with somebody, but if you want to like slide into the dating side of them that you've got to establish like a flirtation friend level where you're both actively like feeling each other out in terms of being interested in one another and then once you know that, that you, you said can... feeling each other out yeah <laughs> out as opposed to feeling each other full yeah. stop uh but the idea being that you know you've got a gauge that you're both Ooh. on the interested page um before anything else uh, rather than just kind of try and pressure people into like being in a date or anything like that, you want to first right. establish that that's both what you want from the relationship. Which I thought was a really good way to explain it, especially to her. She said she was dealing with teenage boys, and I was like, yeah. Why don't they teach this stuff in schools? That would be really handy if, like, Telling both genders, like, yeah, don't just assume everyone is on the dating thing. Just try and, like, find if they're interested without... Uh, also, she was talking about, like, how it used to work in sort of uh, the village community style of you could gossip around between friends and that would make it easier to do this kind of thing. And, you know, our lack of direct socialization is actually harming our ability to do this in some way, which I totally agree with. And I'm kind of going on a ramble about, you know, how we need all, need, all these young children need to get outside more. Yeah, they need to get off of their goddamn uh, PCs Game and Game Boys and, and YouTube's. Nintendos and their mass cults. Especially the mass cults. Alright. All these horses are gonna ruin the world. <laughs> Mass cults, C O L T S. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. I understand now. But do you care now? I super don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also horse pun a lot, everyone. A lot, a lot. Yeah, this knife's doing some good short work here. Get out of here, you. There we go. Yeah. Taken care of. 
And also, we had the, like a vague discussion about how annoyed I got on realizing a whole bunch of my guy friends in high school, uh, not high school, university, had been trying to get me to ask them to date when I had no interest in dating and then got really upset when I didn't get the hint that they wanted me to ask them to start dating because I wasn't interested in dating. Yeah, folks, don't get pissed off at people for not wanting to date you, whatever way and shape that takes. Yep. It's, like it's No one is obligated to date you. Yep. And it doesn't matter how old you think that they meant to want to date you, if they don't want to date you, they don't have to date you. That's as simple as that. That's how human autonomy works. And especially because it usually is a case of, for me, I am asexual, dating and aromantic. Dating has absolutely no interest for me. Like, it just, you know, is something that happens to other people and I don't, don't give a damn. Mm. Like testicular torsion. It doesn't matter to me at all. Because I don't got balls, yo. Whereas if it happened to Daniel, I'd be sympathetic, but I'd probably laugh at him too when he couldn't hear me. Wow, at least you'd... Well, okay, I'll admit, if you wait until I can't hear you, there's, there's, there's a victimless crime. Exactly! Like punching see? someone in the dark. <laughs> oh. But that's my point. Like... Then it wouldn't hurt you, and it would be really good for me. So, everybody wins. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> okay, I just had to stand there, and he just killed himself. Yep. So That's always handy. nice. Let's see if I can. No, that didn't work. That didn't work another time. God damn it, Dan. God damn it! I thought these were down now. <laughs> oh well, health is cheap, like I said. Man. Oh. oh, I missed you twice. Oh. It also came up in a conversation about um, relationships, how, like, trying to explain to somebody that in being aromantic and asexual, like, just the concept of, like, uh, finding yeah. a partner is, you know... Like a complete non-starter, like I feel no reason to look, I don't see any reason why it would happen. Like, short of a very great tax incentive for me to get married, like, I'm, I'm not interested. So one of my friends then going like, it's okay, you'll find somebody eventually, is like, would you tell a person in a wheelchair eventually you'll get out and walk? Cause that's, that's not quite a good metaphor because a wheelchair person can't do some stuff because they're in a wheelchair, but like, you got no disadvantages. Well, it can't read a lot of the social signals around it, but that's, you know, a little I guess. Behavior. Maybe you should tell that person that someday he will be able to read social signals. <laughs> oh, poor guy. But yes. Oh, that was awkward, that moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, I think I will go and reset this level, because I can. <laughs> um, and, and get, get more, more items. Stuff. Yeah. Get more stuff! Oh, I made it through that time! <laughs> I can also um, buy more shop stuff, which would be nice. Get the boom boom and the hush hush. <laughs> Sorry, for some reason me saying that made me think of the Adventure Brothers episode where uh, they pretend that Billy is a young boy that um, the only reason that uh, Dr. Venture is in the bathroom is to change his little son. Alright, I was gonna say, I thought you were talking about the time they made him pretend he was a kitten. Wow. No. <laughs> no, I told you this isn't working! <laughs> It no. was to placate a gorilla. <laughs> oh, it's still so sad that that gorilla lost her kitten. Yeah, well, gorillas gotta learn about death someday, right? Oh, they're beautiful, innocent animals. We shouldn't have to do that to them. Friendly ball. Oh, I don't need that. Okay. So that's scratch that one, but. Oh, nice. We can get the left hand, which Philippa will tell me to drop. Before we reach the chest. 
Yep, totally. I wouldn't at all forget in order to troll you, slash forget entirely myself. Please, make sure to do that this time. <laughs> I cannot help you with this problem. Oh. <laughs> now I'm thinking about the magic conch. Yeah, everyone loves the magic conch. You should do nothing. nothing. And then conch provides. That's the difference between a cult and a real religion. Oh, hey, we got this one again, which is nice. Um, Shuffle things in the blood bag? No, no, we got another donation machine, so in case my other thing does not have a donation machine. Ooh. Yes, that is nice. Uh, what do we got here? Guppy's tail, nice. So you don't have the other Guppy stuff, so you're not getting closer to a Guppy transformation yet. Not yet. Oh yeah, that's super right. Um, so one of the things that um, often gets asked during the Wellington Armageddon panels is what would your mundane superpower be? Because the main MC, um, his mundane superpower would all to be always able to find a parking spot outside of the building he was trying to get into. Okay. Um, and let's see, what was Amy Akers? Amy Akers was... Uh... What? Oh, I forgot him now, but it was really simple and really good. There's also a joke about one of them being able to um, just summon, uh, not Hugh Hefner, um, Andy Hoffman? I think it might have been. Just... Andy Hoffman? Who's Andy Hoffman? Don't know. Um, but some famous celebrity, just like, any time they called out his name. Um, but yes, it was a really good mundane superpower and I thought it was really cool. My mundane superpower would be able to mend plates and cups. Like just any crack, I could just mend that. <laughs> Super mundane, and yet. I don't know. Does like zero bodily maintenance count as mundane? Yeah, it's pretty like, mundane. Don't have to go yeah. to the bathroom or clean myself or anything, or trim my hair or shit like that. And it's like, nah, just takes care of itself. <laughs> Think so of the time want, saved. So you want to Heads attach up. to the great tentacle? No, fuck that. <laughs> but yeah, no, that that sounds like a good mundane superpower. It's like just take away some bullshit from your life. <laughs> I mean, like I would say, don't that's have to sleep, but like that starts going into not mundane. <laughs> yeah. But it's like you effectively get an extra third of a life now. Also, I had a bitching off stream last night, so... You kept saying that. You don't right. explain what it was about. Oh yeah, okay, so I wrote some of it down to, like, tell a friend. You so actually I... wrote it down. Some of it, at least. Uh, let me scroll up and read out what I read down. Okay, so I think I was Eclipsa and associated with the Games of Throne Courts, allying myself with Tyrion... Tyri yeah, Tyrion Lannister. Under the supervision of the reverse vampires. Um, I had a lot of magic I was using, but basically they were I was just pure defensive, so protecting the throne against all kinds of attacks and being some from so um so there's a comic I read called Floriverse where they've got a really specific type of it they call it an angel, but it's more like a um a sort of almost a null. Like, if you encounter it, you, like, start to forget yourself, you start to forget everything that's going on around you. Like, it, it sucks you in, basically. Um, and, like, I was defending the throne from one of those. Um, and they were trying to attack Flame Princess, who was the queen at the time. Because, you know, Flame Princess, she's cool. Um, then I started trying out to help, uh, help teach a bunch of just random kids about defenses. And they were playing a game where they tossed like a uh, flower and chocolate at each other. And there was also like a pool of water they could jump in to like clean off. But it was considered like being really sissy to go do that. So very few of them ever did that. But I was like, no, no, you see, if you jump in the water, right, you get the, the water flower thing going on, which makes you really powerful. 
So if you jump in the water, you're now castles and like taught them all about castle defense. Um, and so that was that was the new game. Um, and after that, that something happened to the in like in dream teacher. So I was like, oh, I'll take over now. Let me teach you kids all about everything. Um, so we were gonna take the game and go out onto a field um, and continue playing it. And some of the t adults were like, no, but if you're doing that, you're just playing games with our kids. You're not teaching them anything. How dare you just, you know, try and not educate our kids while you're being the substitute teacher. And I was like, no, no, listen, I'll, I'll quiz them about stuff. And because I'm not doing it, like, teacherly, they'll be really... I'm engaged, and I like quiz the students about all kinds of things, and one of them even used the word like vermilis, vermilu, you know, vermilicitude or whatever, however you pronounce the it. Vermilicitude. Yeah, that one. And I was like, you see, these kids are learning shit, and they use that word without thinking they were really pretentious or being like a dick because it would fit with the answer to the question, and they know it, they just wouldn't normally use it, so it's really good that they're learning this. I mean, of course it was a dream, because no one seriously expects substitute teachers to teach anything. Exactly. And I even got them, like, singing as a group, it was like a fun thing while we were going and doing that, because they also had to practice a song. And yeah, sorry about all you subs out there, but everyone knows that dubs is better. <laughs> um, anyway, so... We we got to this field and we're playing the new castle game and it's all going really good and it was going so good that it actually got to the point where it had gone dark and some of the adults got really mad that I kicked their precious children after dark not learning shit because of course they're not learning in this ho ho open field with all this education going on. Um, and so eventually one of them like pushed me down a bank or something and like really injured me up. But I was like really hardcore and survived that, so I was climbing back hill and I heard the kids like playing in a cell uh, like above me and started like climbing up the hill and I got to them and they were like, oh um, and they were like I found out that when I got back up they'd had a bunch of other substitute teachers who had just basically sat them in the classroom and were Trying to like, you know, uh, just sit there and be like, no cloth today, we're gonna learn those things. Those are what I thought they were. Yeah, that's fistula. Yep. Um, and they do not explode. Yep. But those are what I thought the black things were. Um. Anyway, yeah, so the other teachers were just trying to, you know, classroom set them to teach them, which was doing fuck all, because, like, no, we're bored now, we don't want to do this, we want to do cool things, like the other teacher was doing. Ah, and also because, like, a whole bunch of them were like that, all the sitting down to try and learn was really, like, hindering their ability to actually learn shit. Because they were like, no, we're bored now, and even though they were really smart, they weren't learning anything because it didn't work for them. And that's about where my brain was at. <laughs> this has been Philippa's Dream Theatre. Yep. It was, like, really intense and really interesting. I had a lot of fun. Oh, oh, and then, then the end of the dream, it, like, changed really randomly. And I was in a car that could, like, futz up surveillance stuff. But it specifically didn't do it in, like, a set radius around the car, because that would be super obvious, but it was, you know, a moving phenomenon centered around the car. It would, like, inside a range would start, like, setting some things to just randomly futz out, and then, like, make intermittent things happen until everything was kind of cascade failing out. And so even though it did start with the car, like it wasn't obvious that it did start with the car and then it could just keep fussing up things in the around area, but it was, you know, part of this ongoing surveillance blackout. So of course nobody notices. Dreams are weird. Yeah, it was a really cool car. But, um, what's the next one? There we go. There was also another car that was like a, like take Berlin from um, Sakura and car cappers and make her like a um... I was right on that! That doesn't count! Apparently not. Now I know how sports people feel. Mm. 
You know, because they're always yelling about how it didn't count. Yeah, it didn't count. Or it did Where count. Where the fuck am I meant to be? Up here? Well, this is new things. I'm just like, where does this map want me to go? Alright, I got an extra health, which I probably shouldn't have, but whatever. The beauty. Yeah. I should have actually realized, I was just like, no, I can get thing. Therefore, I should get thing. Yeah. And then it was like, oh no, I should not have gone thing. <sighs> oh wait, I have enough health. But yeah, that was like the bulk of that weird dream. There's also some other stuff going on with like a cruise ship, but I can't remember that bit now. I just remember there was a cruise ship involved. Well, wow, that was easy. Um, I'm going up here. It didn't live very long. No, it didn't live very long. If a cool dry wit like that, I could be an action star. <laughs> We'll go here just to get the secret room. Okay, maybe it was one of these fistulas and I didn't notice. This one is shitting out bomb flies. I thought for sure that I... Oh! Uh, before you go into the chest, you need to drop the left form. Thank you. I mean, I'm still going to hold on to it for now, but yeah. yes. Uh, those ones are still not as black as the other ones. Wow, Philippa. Fucking racist. Yep, racist in a very specific tonal pattern. They're kind of bluey black as opposed to like this sort of uh, deeper color the other one was. Uh, See, I've, I've missed out on health ups, but I took like free puberties for no reason. Cause that's the kind of guy I am. Not very bright. <laughs> Double shot. Uh, because I got bookworm. And is it just every other shot or? I think it's random, like each shot has a chance to. Right, right. Each shot has a chance to. I get you. Yeah, no, you get it. You get what I'm saying. You're, getting, you're picking up what I'm putting down. I am, I am. Just gotta carve that meat boy up. <laughs> and despite how it looks, you're not flying, are you? I am not flying. Mm -hmm. I actually never got a source of flight, but I gave up the pony head for this and I don't regret it, frankly. For which? For the uh, Satanic Bible. What does that do again? It gives me black hearts. Okay, yeah, that's totally worth it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got our energy there. So let's pick up that battery over here, get myself some health, drop the paw, as you put it. The paw, the paw. I mean, the only kind of paw it would be is a south paw. <laughs> hey, how's it? Let me just, uh, let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Okay, that worked well enough. I now have to actually fight you. Now I don't have to actually fight you. Go. Cool. Put the hand down so I've got no further comments. To yes. Make. But thank you. Now I got those sweet, sweet, so sweet chests. Now I'm not gonna put that in context. <laughs> now I can fly. Woo! Bookworm or the Elzebub. The Elzebub. Bookworm doesn't let you fly. One of the few transformations for Delphine. Yeah. What is that, like, easy poverty thing that you left behind? Um, the spider butt? Yeah, it's an upper space bar item, I don't need it. Not particularly good. Spider butt, spider butt. Creepy acting for a spider butt. 
Yeah, that is an active, actually. An active item. Yep, that was why I said it. Yeah. I was being cunning. You're being very smart. Oh, it's better than being very stupid. I remember when I could kill you with one shot. That was pretty funny. Those were the days. We miss it, we miss it, Kyle. Emperor. Well, I could do that, but I would rather not forego all these sweet prizes here. I'm still alive, buddy. Pure tenacious turn? Got to do my donations like a chump, I now realize. Oh, you did. Oh, well, uh, one can't remember. Ow. Can't remember everything, I suppose. Yep. Or in my case, anything. No, I didn't. I did not tell you that. That was not your fault. I was in the. I was entranced in your, your dream story, I guess. Yeah, well, I was pretty entranced, so. I could tell. I slept until 1 p.m. today, guys. It's a really interesting dream. Yeah, and you didn't like wake up then either. Like, you got woke. I woke you up. Yeah. Because I was like, Philip was telling me, uh, fucking guaranteed damage. Uh, Philip was telling me yesterday how she was trying to get back into a normal sleeping pattern. So yeah. I was like, so you probably don't want me to just let you sleep. <sighs> I didn't, but it was a really cool dream. Give me more trouble than some of the more difficult rooms. Alright. Let me get this one. These guys. Oh man. Oh, just. Conversation I'm having with a friend. I'm now thinking of um okay, so do you remember what Morgan was doing as um I wanna say his honors on? They're honors, yes. They're on oh yes, I'm very sorry. I do remember that. Um with the painting breathing? Yes. Um, so somebody tried something even similar with um knitting patterns. Um and they got some awesome ass, like, really random knitting patterns out of it. But, oh, oh so like yeah, I got monster as long now. What was this big thing? Um... Right. That was totally my fault. I didn't notice that little tip one there, and I really should have. Spiders. I don't know if we'll take a couple of free spiders and then pass it off. Yeah, hey, sup, so just a friendly USSR tank. We're at the end of like a pretty decent Lazarus run here. Um, did the doors open? They did open. Uh, you missed a really sweet fucking high damage run with Azazel, where I ended up on 73 something attack. It's great. <laughs> and I'm just rambling about Skynet. It was, um, okay, so it was basically they fed really listen. patterns into a, um, a neural network generator, and this and it generated just like. Functional midwear, well, patterns that did something, but they always did crazy things. The fuck would they make, like, needs or something? Well, there's one that looks kind of like a, um, a baby bed, but, like, missing a whole lot of loops kind of thing. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, um, so it, it's just, like, a strange... Wait, like, art installation piece, basically. Oh, so there is. How, how did I miss that? Why? 
Well, you already knew that. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking blind. Like, 90% of people on stream. <laughs> His glasses are, like, super thick. They would be even thicker if it wasn't for, like, modern techniques. If I had to live with this shit, like, even so much as a few decades ago, I would've been fucked. I'm just gonna link in chat, like, a, um... The, some of the weird-ass patterns that, that this thing created. Some of them are, like, just really cool pieces of art. No spam in the chat, Topher. I will spam as much as I like as your moderator. Spam. Yeah, it's true. You're the only mod I have, so. <laughs> you can do the what power you please. I will. <laughs> now, I might as well use that 48 hour energy here and get the. Uh, get the use of it. So I want you, RP, to use the tank. That's USSR, USSR tank. tank. Oh, that's bad. I mean, I should know the difference between a user and a USSR. It's kind of important to know. Yeah, well, sometimes Tumblr doesn't. Oh, snap. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's sadly kind Let's of circle cool. this motherfucker while we're just, like, whittling around his health. Da -da 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 -da. Good old knife strategy. So you've played Knifey Spoony before? Oh, no, only Knifey Knifey in this game. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can keep going. In fact, um, hmm, I don't need to, but fuck it, I'll do it. We'll do a little bit of a victory round in the void. Still, yeah, credit has appeared. It's oh. nice. And out of curiosity, is there any particular tank design that you do favor? Because you know, there's a lot of them. <laughs> kind that wins World War Two. And not the dogs that do. Not the dogs? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on! USSR, tanks, dog yeah. jokes, we know where that goes. No, I forgot about the dog tank. Uh, the, sorry, the bomb dogs. I know. Those poor dogs. They, they did not deserve that. Okay, so we got an array <laughs> of bosses down here. Imagine if it had worked, though. Oh, you don't know how to unlock oh, the, the D6. D6. Let me have a look. Um, Philippa, could you link this this kind person Absolutely. to the Isaac wiki? Absolutely. Um, not that wrong. we won't also try and tell you, but yeah. it's like the Isaac wiki is just a super useful tool to have. So the one I, I use it all the damn time. The one I have just linked is the primary stuff for um, outright information. So if you're ever doing a quick look for just simple item stuff, uh, the Platinum God one works well. So let's see, unlocking the D6, um, you need to defeat Isaac as question mark, question mark, question mark. So you need to unlock question mark, question mark, question mark to do this of course. Um, and the way you unlock question mark, question mark, question mark is to defeat mom's heart ten times. That's what you need to do is just beat mom's heart. Yeah. Just beat mom's heart until it stops beating. And who is it you have to beat um, as question mark, question mark, question mark? Oh, you have to beat Isaac with question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, so you have to beat Isaac with question mark, question mark, question mark. So that means you've got to get into the cathedral as question mark, question mark, question mark. Whoa, what the fuck? The soul just blew up in my face. Oh well. <laughs> also known as Blue Baby for simplicity's sake. And yeah, my hitbox is um, so small here it's hard to like actually run over these coins. Um, fuck it, but I know. For now. <laughs> I will talk about the fact that I cannot walk up in straight lines. So, um, in many uh, adventure games, I will just like run off the edge of cliffs because I struggle to walk off and walk in straight lines. Oh fuck! Lines. Here's delirium right away. Oh wow! Was not expecting that to be on the first go. No, also, me neither. What adventure games are getting you to run off of cliffs? Uh, to name a few. Oh, and now you get him as um, delirium. Form. Um, I have fallen off the cliffs in Jack and Daxter, I have done it in That's multiple times in Legend and Zelda. Those are, those are platformers. Sorry, platformers. Um, but they come I was like, what adventure game lets you walk off a, well, old Sierra game probably. Um, they come under action adventures, so my brain 
Like, Jack and Dexter, I'm pretty sure it counts as under action, action adventure. If you call something an adventure game, I'm gonna assume you mean like a point and click. Yeah, no, I, I normally know um, RPG games. But yeah, like, so it's many RPGs times. I, <laughs> I would just like try and do a particular spot of jump and then off the cliff I would go. Uh, and yeah. it got so bad that I actually have a comic in my DeviantArt where I, um, where I impress one of my friends with my terrible navigation skills. Where I basically managed to, in Jack and Daxter, get up to the zoomer. Um, Something was exploding and I don't know why. <laughs> Probably best not to ask. Um, oh shit. But I managed to both, like, have the full off animation for the, um, for the, uh, speeder thing. And then, like, it made it look because of the way that my character, the J Daxter fell off. Sorry, um, the way that Jack fell off the the speeder, it looks like he um he uh, gotten run over by the speeder. I also managed to make it a boss like just fail to pull off its energy. So you've only been in more um, uh, heart once. That's, that's cool. And that's totally fine. Congrats on doing that. If you keep on going at it, eventually you'll find like that's the great thing about Isaac is every run is different. So. You get a new, completely new chance to, to succeed or fail every single time, and... The more you do it, the more you get used to the patterns she spares. Yeah. yeah, and also, like, eventually you'll run into, like, some overpowered... <laughs> <laughs> you say that, but every now and again he just gets to delirium and then delirium... Heck, how yeah. many times has delirium beaten you? I don't know. Almost three times? Um, that said, like, you, you're a society tank, you're like the first person that I've had on these streams that uh, that plays Isaac, but... Nope, second. The, well, not including um, Ben, but there was the person who was watching us while trying to unlock the Forgotten, was it? The that plays Isaac, but isn't way better than me. Okay. Which is what I was going to say. <laughs> Who's the elf here here? Don't just interrupt me. I can interrupt you anytime I like. Um, so cool. So, in that case, um, we've done a couple of runs. We kind of need to get other stuff done today. I really hate to run when I've just got a new users here, but I put up these VODs actually. Um, let me just link you up to my YouTube channel here, where right. I put up VODs. If you want to see me play more bull like bullshit, it's mostly Isaac. Some of it is RimWorld, which is another fun game. There we go. There's my YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's been great having people chatting. Okay. I hope I wish you all the best of luck at beating Mom's Heart a bunch more times. Do you want to give him any more advice before you go rather than just vanishing off? Um, there's not a whole hell of a lot of advice other than I guess like only focus on the min minions she, she spawns when they're right about to hit you, I generally find it's better to face, like, the parts of her. Because when she dies, all of her, like, minions die as well. So, uh, frankly, it's almost always better to kill the spawner than it is to kill the minions than the spawner. Mm, that's good advice. Um, any power-ups to avoid before going into mom? Um, countless. There's tons of shitty power-ups in the game, but if I was to rate... If I was to say all of them, that would take too damn long. We'd be here another hour. Well, I'd say our new viewer probably wouldn't mind that. Well, yeah. Um, but anyways, like I said, hate to chat and run, but I gotta go. So, y'all have fun, best of luck, and we'll see you normally stream on around about this time, well, earlier than this, like 8 o'clock New Zealand time, Which starting off. Two hours ago, was when we usually Yeah, we started, started two hours ago. Uh, stream choose generally Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you then.